Welcome back to H3 Weapon Deep Dive. Today we are looking at another carbine. I guess. This is Home SMG Rifle Carbine Quackenbush 1886. We are chambered in 22 long rifle. And barely at that, we've got the bare, barest bones of rifles here or carbines or whatever you want to call it. I can barely even click on this guy. It is so tiny. It has got a wire hanger for a stock and basically a wire hanger for a trigger too. Looks like it's stuck as well. Look at this thing. This is ridiculous. What side loading thing? Side loading breach swing out. What is what? Let's check it out. Let's take a look at the controls on the Quackenbush. We've got left or right on the trackpad. We'll open our breech up so that we can insert a new round into it. There we go, into the barrel. Left or right again to close it and down on the trackpad. We'll pull our little bolt back, if you can call it that. Our grippable area is about halfway down the barrel from the, or rather from the trigger to about halfway down the barrel. Pretty much anywhere in here you can grab it. That's your foregrip. There's your shot left or right on the trackpad will open the breech back up and you can either drop it out I just tilted that back uh, to drop it out or you can pull it out manually by clicking on the round with your trigger on the offhand like so there you go uh, you cannot unfortunately spin it around like a revolver or a cowboy gun or anything like that so a little missed opportunity there Let's see what what attachments will go on this thing. Um, well, you've got no rails, so there's no lasers, no red dots. How about stuff on the barrel? Can we put... <laughs> okay, we can put a muzzle brake on there, which will do all of nothing. Can you put a suppressor on there? Okay, that will actually do something, so you can put a suppressor on there. If you so desire, a barrel extension? A barrel extension will go on there. How about a muzzle brake? adapter okay so you can get rails on it with the rail adapter spiral spatula will go on there and uh technically it's already got a stock so you don't need another one that's all you need right oh boy let's take a look at our sights our iron sights on this guy are actually not that bad uh the rear notch is pretty big you can find it that front post is thick enough that i can see it in vr couple pixels wide so you know what that's not the end of the world you know could be a lot worse well it's silly to do a recoil test but let's see what it sounds like with the suppressor on it that's at least something to think about oh you know what that rear sight or that front sight will just barely get up over that suppressor so I can actually see what I'm shooting at well sure is quiet well, there you have it, the Quackenbush 22. Silly Anton with his 22s. Till next time, I will see ya. Whee!